My name's Holly Hendry. I'm an artist who lives in London um, and I make sculpture and installation based works. The question of what Noguchi means to me is a hard one to like speak about, to practically verbalise, um, because for me Noguchi's works um, shout, maybe sing, <laughs> or kind of through their forms, their kind of shapes and textures and the way he uses he uses material, the kind of sensorial qualities. So I think it's this dedication to an extremely eloquent language of pure material stuff, language without words, which he verbalises through sculpture, through light, through architecture and theatre. And for me that's really about a way for bodies to navigate shapes and spaces with sensory intuition really. Um, there are a few works for me in the exhibition, but one of the first ones that comes to mind is a work with the title The Policeman. Um, it's quite a small, quite witty ceramic work that looks um, semi-figurative even though it's a kind of box-like form and for me it's kind of a sculpture that um, packs a punch it's as much about what is there as is it about what isn't there um, and you kind of look through it as much as you look at it I have always thought about it as this kind of mouth um, with the protrusions and the dangling parts that kind of look like tonsils um, reminding me of open mouth votive offerings that I saw in Rome once. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued by the kind of serious playfulness of this work, which maybe has Nagu kind of connections with Noguchi's designs for playgrounds, a kind of learning through potential movement, shape and texture and form and things like that. But the scale of this work does it, it kind of boils it down and does it, does it in a very in a, in a way that um, is, for me, very direct. I think Noguchi can't help but be relevant today um, because of how much we see his influence in mainstream culture and um, contemporary design. Um, and I think it's in part, as part of that, his work is still kind of raising these ever-important questions of um, ways to function as an artist. Um, kind of in, and in that sense, practically, through creation and production, um, where he involved himself with everything from kind of extreme craftsmanship of specific objects um, to the mass production of his lights. Um, and also through a kind of exploration of identity to his own Japanese heritage and American nationality and how you kind of see and feel that in his works. Um, but yeah, I think there's something quite future looking about Noguchi's work in as you look at it today as well um, and maybe that's to do with the time and context he was working in and how we're looking at it now um, but I think it's also because it asks these kind of basic and fundamental questions of what sculpture can do and what it can't do in a sense as well.